Hey guys, Doom from Geek Doer here, and today I'll be bringing you my reaction to Hell of a Boss Season 2, Episode 6, titled Oops. Fizz goes to buy milk, and things sure do happen. Okay, well, there's absolutely nothing to um, gain by that title or description. Though the thumbnail is pretty telling. Um, I think based off of what I've said I have knowledge of in the past, I think this may be the distraction episode. But I am not entirely sure about that. That could be the next one. But yeah, it's... Um, don't really know what to expect from this so let's just get it started in three two one go hmm there we go hey fizz why are you under the dunas? <laughs> Rise and shine, Ozzy! Uh -oh. I really gotta use an air horn to wake up a sin? Blame how fucking fun they are! Okay, so today you have a meeting with the distributor about the new shipment of vibrators. Then you gotta host a safety meeting because of what happened with the old shipment of vibrators. And then you have a nooner with Prince Stolas. Ah, you scheduled me during lunch. Well, you're pretty good at squeezing things in. But I left time for a big old breakfast. Let me guess, I'm handling that too. I mean... Unless you want me to take a crack at cooking again. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Never again. What? Maybe I can burn the milk this time. Stop. Oh, you know what I'm craving? Burgers. No, it's too early for burgers, you maniac. Burger time. Burger time. <laughs> Burger time. <laughs> uh, it was cute and fun. I didn't even have a chance to read that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can pick up some more while I'm out today. About that. You're still going to that contest rehearsal without me? Well, you have a packed day today, and I know you aren't big on the whole mammon thing, so... It's the Greed Ring. One of the cities is literally called Ransom. Ah, you worry too much. You know I ain't afraid of ropes. Sides, I'm slippery. I mean, only after I... What? What? Come on, man. <laughs> I can be on my own one day. But you haven't been to the Greed Ring alone since becoming Mam's big brand figure. Yeah, I guess, but it's not like I'm gonna stick around. I can get you an escort. Ah, I can handle it. Come on, Big Daddy. Wee! When it comes to the lust <laughs> demon, well, you know what kind of escort is he talking about? Cute. Mm -hmm. That's why I use it. <laughs> Just try to stay out of trouble, Fizzy Frog. Ah, stop it! No. <laughs> Oz, I have the new ship, Mando. You mind trying to have an unemotional bang sesh here? Yeah, because we're so not in love. Just yes, love unemotional, this. definitely. <laughs> Close, huh? <sighs> Just you know, it's over. funny. I was we'll about to say the last right. time we saw them, right. they were giving right. Millie and Moxie shit I'll for their loving relationship, and then they're me. acting like this in the morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do find on one hand, I want that um, license plate. <laughs> On the other, I know that's illegal. <laughs> Man, it's great not being in the spot. 
not night for once. I'm pretty sure you're in the spotlight. With it's not my fault if you only know how to make coffee that tastes like piss. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wow. Looky who it is. Oh, fuck. You again. Stalking me now, huh? Oh, don't fucking flatter yourself, clown. I have my own life, you know, without you in it. Uh-huh, sure, Blitzo. The O is silent now, bitch. And gee whiz, we've been in each other's relative vicinity twice in the last 15 years. That would make me the shittiest stalker in history. Twice is already way too much. Yeah, well, at least I'm still actually working for my shit and not getting everything handed to me like some pampered attention whore. Hmm. Yeah, well, guess that's what resilience and talent gets you. Plus, my horns Blitz were was able to get under his skin. Weren't they? Really, it's gonna be a measuring contest. Oh, poor weird fly so, chihuahua you things. Say you're good? Cause we really need a big score right now. The bass had a royal on the ropes just last week. Is sure, it? but not dead? It was yes, it is. Cold off. Crimson. But I have a body count in the hundreds. I ain't afraid to go after anyone. Women. I did kids, say the other day that all things. it's bladded. Huh. These two might have a um if you can deliver something Dealing very, together, I'll consider it. One moment. <laughs> well, there's something of value. Wanted to run into you again, Blitzy, and with a famous friend. Ah, oh, fuck me. For the record, we are not friends. <laughs> What's so special about that one? I don't have a feeling it's going to be a personally modeled one. No. I thought that was going to be a personal, a personal model for Fizz. Stolas! Hey there, birdie babe. Haven't seen you since you crashed my club. How you been? <laughs> Still getting your kink on with that feisty imp? Uh, well, um, that's actually what I'm here about. You see, I um, seem to have found myself with feelings for him. And I'm not sure if it's a mutual thing. Well, I can tell you, if you're looking for a love potion, you came to the wrong fucking guy. I don't fuck with that artificial bullshit. Lust shouldn't be about force. It's an art to be earned and enjoyed. It's all well, that's respectable. It's a pleasure time. Especially considering we know Val <laughs> does do no, never, never that. love potions. I just, you see... This inn has a business he runs. He needs to access the mortal realm to carry out his work. I know your demons are some of the only ones who can traverse freely and legally. I was wondering if you could assist me in finding a way he could too. Oh, hmm, Stolas. My heart bleeds for you, but my partner, uh, business partner, Fizzarelli, hates your imp guy, Blitzo, right? Yeah, hey. He does? But why? Not my story to tell, but trust me, I would help if I could, but I can't. Sorry. <laughs> Nickname Froggy. Um, well, you're both gonna have a, um... Hello, Osmodius. You don't know me, but you don't need to. All you need to know is I have your little jester here with me. If you want him back alive, you will give me exactly what I want. Do you have any idea who you are fucking with? I think it's a recording. You probably just asked if I know who I'm being. <laughs> Gosh. Oh yes, I know. The weakest and most non-threatening of the sins. The king who will do whatever it takes to save the worst kept secret in all of hell. 
We both know you won't risk anything happening to the clown. So be a good little bitch I'm surprised, boy um, Stalus hasn't said anything about with the contract of the Striker. Man. You haven't told the witching hour to sign it. <laughs> now cut. I said cut it, you Oh, chill out, Jester. Christ on a stick. It's like you've never been tied up before. Uh, uh, sure, but not by a bunch of psychos <laughs> and a piece of shit. Am I... Okay, am I the psycho or the piece of shit? Both. Yeah, that checks. How is this happening? I was just supposed to grab some gas station milk and rehearse some juggling. Oh, relax. I'm sure your big royal chicken ain't gonna let anything happen to his peppy little fuck doll. Oh, playing that card, huh? Okay, what about you? Seems your tastes have gotten more regal lately. <laughs> yeah, well, unlike you, I fuck who I want when I want. I'm not gonna be tied down to some big blue blood asshole. You could have fooled me the way Princey was cozying up to you at Ozzy's. Hey, Stolitz only cares about having a rugged peasant raw dog him into his mattress. It's nothing, mm. you know, it's nothing else. Then why were you even there? Other very important reasons, of course. Whatever, I don't actually care. I mean, Stolas is just a loud, thirsty bitch who loves feeling the thrill of getting dicked by the lower class. Here's the thing, it's we know this is him. what Blitz Literally just said I don't care. actually and thinks. he'll call me and try and see how my day was, and he'll pretend to care about me and comment on my photos and laugh at my jokes. Oh, well that's definitely your clue right there that it's all bullshit. I know, right? He's just a fake privileged asshole. Sounds like you just hate him for being a prince, because no one, and I mean, no one pretends to care that much just for a cheap lay. Point is, royal demons don't give a shit about guys like us. They're all the fucking same. That's not always true. But I guess you're right. They can't all be the same if some have taste and some want to fuck you. Can we talk about something other than my sex life? Satan's taint. Does fucking that lust guy make this what you're all about now? You brought it up, asshole! You two shut the fuck up already! <laughs> Bigger like a couple of teen skanks. As far as I'm concerned, you two are both embarrassments to our kind for meddling with blue bloods to begin with. But at least Loudmouth here has the sense to only fuck his rich bitch instead of being a little purse dog. Oh great, the fucking supremacist is on my side. Wonderful. Neither of you filth bags know what you're even talking about. If you think you're superior to anyone, then you are no better than any royal. Don't you dare. Finish that sentence, clown. Hey, hit for hire! I said watch them, not fuck them. <laughs> Keep your hands off the merchandise. Ah, ever heard of mouthwash? Fuck face! I mean, uh, I, can I he's still like, can oblivious to the fact Sire, that you need to know the contents of this contract. He's working with royals. A deal made with a sin like yourself would be everlastingly binding. Perhaps I can look it over. I'm a fast reader. Oh, hmm. This is a contract giving Crimson all of Ozzy's factory assets and giving him permission to use Fizzeroli's head for a wall decoration. Wait, what? Just making sure you're paying attention. <laughs> Here's the real contract. Oh, this will be fun. I love words. Okay, I, I've seen that scene. Jester, not an escape artist. <laughs> I just want to go home. Hmm. You want me to get you out? E e yes. You had a knife this whole time. <laughs> now stop bitching while I'm Why were you? <laughs> was it just because Crimson was on the? No crimson on. So what now, genius? Strike up. Remote. I mean, I could stretch down there. No, I have a better idea. What in the final destination is he doing? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Show off. I don't blitz, but I don't do danger. Well, good to know you're still a wimpy circus puss. He's a give you a comeback, but that imply I'd give a shit what you think. You always cared what I thought. <laughs> After what you did to me, I didn't do anything. It was an accident. An accident? Are you kidding me? You always had it out for me because people liked me better. You wanted me gone because you were jealous, just wanting the spotlight. I looked up to you. I thought you were my best friend. You ruined my life. And then you just left me. I lost so much because of you. And you selfish piece of shit, you didn't even care. I did care. It was an accident. It was. Okay, you're right. It was all my fault, okay? I, I should have done more to help. I was, I was trying. There was so much going on. I was trying to get help, Fizz. I just... It was still my fault. Glad you can admit it. Want a medal? Look, I'm sorry, Fizz. I am so sorry that you got so hurt. I'm sorry for what you lost. And I, I know I can never make that right. But you have no idea what I lost in that fire. I mean, it's, it's all my fault. I, I'd hate me too. So is that how... I mean, I do hate... ...his and Bobby's mom died. So why didn't you try to tell me any of this? Or come see me? Even once would have been fine. I tried. You were all I had left, Fizz. But they told me you didn't want to see me. I never told them that. Bullshit. You didn't? No. And no one told me you came. Oh. Oh, right on a stair. I had to have a fucking emotional moment here. <laughs> Okay, so I believe this draft allows for some factory ownership, specifically okay. located in the greed ring, with allocated funds going to your client for the foreseeable future, um, while ensuring the safe no, return of one physical. Sort of looks like a now, Let me just reread this. Hurry up. Yelling won't make me read faster. Look, misunderstanding or no, it's hard to just forgive you. It's been 15 years, and that's so much time. But I guess you didn't really ruin my life. Well, you're telling me getting blown up didn't ruin your life? It was painful and challenging, and you know, fuck you. Still. I always but do love when people like broken, use other people as clubs. And, uh, uh, fuck you. My life has actually been pretty great. Yeah, that's lovely. You got a good thing going on with that horny rooster fucker, don't you? Oh yeah, it's been. Fantastic. Because, uh, you know, it's a great gig. And, and, and he's got the biggest cock, you know? Like, massive. I mean, imagine, like, the biggest, just a giant, huge, like a kaiju. But it's a cock, you know what I mean? Like a big monster. It's big. It's huge. Fizz. I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I'm happy for you, Fizz. If you want to prove yourself, cowboy, here's your chance. <laughs> You've been a pain in my ass long enough, Blitz. Now, I'm gonna break you like a fucking horse. Oh, don't you dare talk sexy to me. You're still on the horse thing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Remember how you He's used to very much on the horse. Steal his booze? I mean, yeah, why? Yeah, well, I need to get up to that window there to bust us out. <laughs> One distraction coming up. When I was a young boy, I never thought it'd come to this. The scars all seem to heal, and soon all I feel is regret. And now I'm a They weren't even hiding the fact they're doing this as a distraction. Like, they straight up say that. 
but it's directed like five, not even five feet away. I was correct about this being the distraction. And you really know how to put on a show, which is almost as impressive as the thing you said I was good at. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't need to break I the guess window. Royal jesters first. Get your fucking shit stained claws off him. <laughs> You think I'm just gonna let you get away after all this? I'm through losing these fights! This worthless little pet reeks of his overbloated master! I'll at least enjoy getting rid of him. Okay, is it bad that I'm getting hard? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Why is it always a sex thing? Because <laughs> you're in hell! Of course, they're just trapeze in a junkyard. <laughs> moment if we made out right now <laughs> that's it I'm going to fucking eat your life Fizzy. <laughs> okay so I've seen the song and I saw a super cut of all this Lawyer stuff. <laughs> Get fucked, little one. So glad you're okay, babe. You ain't never leaving the palace without protection again. 
I mean, us, you know, there's eyes around. I know, I don't Ain't care. That protection. They know if they tell anyone, I'll break them. <laughs> well, it's probably the worry. best Today threat you could give to a bunch of subcubuses. You won't have to again. I'm sorry, I got a little messy. You don't need to apologize for getting banged up, babe. I'm just sorry I couldn't be there. It's okay, Oz. Guess I'm just not used to this kind of thing. <sighs> it's been an intense day. Just take it easy, okay? Oh, it's fine. I'm fine, really. You know I bounce back fast. <laughs> so, besides my whole scary hostage thing, how was your day? Well... I was stuck with Stolas the whole time, who, <laughs> by the way, asked me to give him one of my crystals as a gift for that guy you hate. So, I told him no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, fuck it. Let him have it. Excuse me? Yeah, why not? You could say he earned it. All right, then. Anything for you. So, I don't know about you, that's what the Asmodian crystals rush with crime has given me I, I thought it was a, um, you wanna go see a what's in the heart you kind of thing. That's a good idea right now, like, sure, don't you? reveal the true well, feelings, whether it is obviously. lust or <laughs> love, which I guess, being the sin of lust, he wouldn't want love, so he developed some way to, like, find out whether it is just pure lust that's what i thought the Asmodian crystal was and stolas was going to show to blitz that what he felt for him was love but no it just seems like a way to give blitz a option to get to the um above world that doesn't require the book so that stolas can say hey we don't have this arrangement anymore. If I call you for a hooker or to catch up or anything, it's because I want to. But I can also see that that is going to be misconstrued by Blitz and say, oh, he doesn't want to be a part of this deal anymore. He's just throwing me away now. And so I'm assuming that's what's going to happen coming up I'm going to say I don't think it's going to be in the next episode but it may be in the what was it episode 8 which is the start of the second half yeah that's my predictions it's going to be yeah, it's going to be, hey, I got you this crystal. You can use it to get to the surface world. So our arrangement is done. Blitz is going to take that as, oh, another person who is pushing me away, proving me right that I shouldn't try and get close to people because I've just come to terms with I have feelings for him. And now he's saying we don't need this arrangement anymore. Yeah, it's going to be... That's just what I think is going to happen. We'll see how correct I am in um, probably two weeks. But who knows? I didn't realize I only have um, technically three episodes and then I'm caught up. I do also have four shorts. To watch, but hmm. Anyway, I I really enjoyed this episode. The finding out what happened with Blitz and Fizz, what caused Blitz's face scarring in that. All of that was questions I've had. The questions of what happened to his mum, seemingly. Well, it seems like she was a sickly person beforehand, and 
she didn't make it out of that explosion. I'm also going to say that his dad probably didn't, but that's less of a blow to Blitz than his mum, who seemed to be the only person he would be vulnerable with. Because we know him and Barbie didn't have a um, good relationship. Part of the reason she hates him could well be she also blames him for what happened that day. Um, it did look like that was a love letter from Blitz to Fizz. But I don't know what it was that his dad gave Fizz. Was that a invitation to be part of Mammon's circus and then so Blitz knew that he was leaving? Oh no, that's just a birthday card. Is it wish <laughs> Ah Not quite a birthday card. It says Wish you were my son handed to him by Blitz's dad. And then we find out that Blitz was going to hand him a card that also had a rose with it. Or a flower. I can't read the writing that's on that. I'll see if you get a hide there. Yeah, it's an envelope sealed with a heart sticker and says Fizz's eyes only. And it was going to be handed with a um flower. Pretty clear that that was a um, relationship kind of thing. Well, there's that and the fact that at the end he's like, Would it ruin the moment if we made out now? Hmm. Yeah. But who knows if my predictions for the next few episodes is going to be right or not. I guess we'll find out. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.